My name is Kent Honda. Coming from a family with a single mother, I have been working since I graduated from junior high school, hoping to help out with our family's budget. Currently, I'm in charge of cleaning a major trading company as a cleaner. Thank you for your hard work. It's hard not to admire you since you're such a great worker. Ah, yes. Uh, thank you. Hey, since I'm here, I might as well help you. Oh, no. You don't need to help out. This is my job. Well, you would finish faster if we do it together. This girl is married to Yoda, an employee of this company. She's a beautiful young woman. It's great that she's not at all pretentious and still casually talks to me, a cleaner. Uh, Kent, your cheeks are dirty. Oh, what? Is the dirt here? No, no. I'll wipe the dirt out for you. Oh, no. Please stop. I'm filthy. Your handkerchief will get dirty. No problem. Okay, now your cheeks are clean. Oh, thank you. Mary is so kind, and she smells good. But why is she so kind towards me? Uh, how about this, Auntie? Let me see. It's not clean at all. Start over. Uh, I think I polished them properly. There is still dirt on the back of the edge. Oh, really? This old woman is a part-time worker who loves cleaning. She's currently training me, who is still quite immature as a cleaner. The fact is, I, the full-time employee, am in the position to both manage and supervise her. But the truth is, I'm no match for her at all. Uh, phew, today's cleaning work is over. Auntie is really tough on me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Well, hmm, I smelled something disgusting, and here you are. Uh, hi. Damn, I'm out of luck. And I don't want to spend my precious break time here. This is Debagame. He's a sarcastic guy who just looks down on me. What? Do you have anything to say to me? No, nothing. In the first place, why are you using our break room even though you're just a cleaner? A bottom level employee. But I got permission. Shut up. Don't you dare talk back to me. I'm the manager, huh? If you're brazen about it, then I'll make a complaint about you to the company, okay? Ugh. Hmm. I'm going to a convenience store. Hey, cleaner, throw this away. Ugh, I just cleaned the floor. Kent, are you there? Uh, you're still cleaning? Oh, this is just... Well, I'll borrow a spare rag, okay? Hey, what are you doing? Your skirt will get dirty. Oh, it's okay if I position myself properly. Anyway, let's hurry up and clean this mess. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's over. Thank you. By the way, was there something you were going to ask me? Hmm? Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, next weekend, would you like to go to a movie? I was able to get some free extra tickets. Uh, you mean with you? Yeah, how about it? Dating Mary? This is like a dream, but... What is a bottom-level employee like you going to do? Sorry, I must decline. A bottom-level employee like me isn't a good fit for a beautiful lady like yourself. Huh? No, that's not what I meant. Well, uh, excuse me. Uh, hey, Kent! I wonder if I've done something wrong to her. But maybe she's just making fun of me. She doesn't really care about me. Hey, don't just stand there, get to work! Gee, I'm sorry. At this rate, we won't be able to finish cleaning. Uh, yeah. Let's do this quickly. <sighs> it's finally over. Yeah, let's go home. Oh, at this age, my back pain keeps acting up. Are you okay? Do you need me to lend you a shoulder? Don't treat me as if I'm too old to handle myself. Hmm? Ah, uh, hey, you. Hello, Mr. Debagame. We're done with today's cleaning, so we are now... Hey, wait. I have something to say to you. What? You were asked out on a date with Mary, and what? You decided to turn her down? What is a bottom-level employee who only graduated junior high school like you doing here? What? Why does this guy know about what happened earlier? Was he eavesdropping? How stupid. You're already old enough that it's embarrassing for you to be jealous. There is no reason for you to get in the way of these young people's problems. Or is there some reason for you to get in their way? 
Shut up, old cleaning woman. Don't lecture me. Watch out. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Are you okay? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? Uh, no. I'm fine. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure you learned your lesson. Don't approach Mary anymore. Damn. This is so miserable. I can't even talk back to him. The next day. Auntie was off today, so I went to work alone. To be honest, I felt bad, but I can't take a rest. Then... Huh? Am I being asked to go to the president's office? Yes, the president wants to talk to you directly. I have to go to the president's office? Maybe Mr. Debagame complained about what happened yesterday. What if my contract gets cancelled? Hello? Hi! Welcome, Ken! Mary? Why are you here? You don't have to wonder why Mary's here. It's because she's my daughter. President? Huh? Mary? You're the president's daughter? Yeah! Didn't I tell you that? I haven't heard about it. Besides, you've helped out my mother yesterday. I would love to say a few words of thanks. Huh? What do you mean? I, I'm not... That's me. Auntie? If you are the president's mother, does that mean you are Mary's grandmother? How can he be? You're so young. My mother gave birth to me when she was a teenager. I heard that my grandmother was in this huge love affair that she almost eloped with him. Hey, Mary, you don't have to say those unnecessary things. But why does such a person like you work part-time at a company like ours? My mother insisted that she should work. So that's why I introduced her to the company, so that she could help out as a cleaner. Oh, I see. P president you wanted to see me? Ugh, the cleaner guy. And that old woman? What the heck are you doing here? Oh, actually, this person is... Well, I'll explain the situation to him. I've heard that you took great care of my mother yesterday. You even tried to throw an empty can at her, right? What? Mother? You're kidding, right? That's true. I'm his mother. <laughs> President, you're, you're misunderstanding. Uh, I'm not... Don't you dare lie. I saw it with my own eyes. Damn you. Don't say those things. And this person, he always persistently tries to talk to me. It's really annoying. Uh, Mary, I don't mean that. Uh-huh. You are not only bothering my mother, but also my daughter. Then are you ready for... <laughs> In the end, Debagame seems to have had a terrible working attitude, and the incident was the last straw. He was given a reduced salary and was ordered to move to the countryside. What's more, he completely lied about being a manager, even after reaching 40 years of age. He was just a regular employee who hadn't held any high positions. Hmm, <laughs> sorry, but he deserves that. Oh, actually, I had one more business with you. Uh, what? I wanted to see what kind of person my daughter likes. Uh-huh. Th that means... Hey, Daddy! I told you to keep that a secret! <laughs> that doesn't really matter, right? Uh, what is happening? Well, that's a simple story. It seems that she developed feelings for you after I've been talking about your efforts. Since then, she has had a crush on you. Uh, Grandma, stop it! I'm embarrassed! I see. Mary really likes me. A lonely cleaner. Well, then, about the date I asked you out on, uh, how about it? Of course, if you don't want to, then... Oh, if you're alright with me, by all means. Yeah, that's great! But please just stop putting yourself down, okay? Well, uh... But I'm just a junior high school graduate. Hmm, okay then. I will give you confidence you lack. As a man, of course. What? Maybe, could it be? Will I finally become an adult man? I was really expecting it. Mary, please, let me rest a little. What are you talking about? You can still go. Do your best. Uh... Kent, I'll make you a great man. With the approval of the president, I started working as a subordinate of Mary. As a result, I have been rigorously trained day and night by both my lover and my boss. What harsh Spartan training. 
She really is the granddaughter of Auntie. We are still going. Aww. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!